Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing some of my tips and tricks that I use to help me get those victory royales on console. Some of the tips you are going to hear in this video you might have already heard of from other videos, but I'm just trying to emphasize those just because they're that important. I also did add in some that I haven't seen in any videos before, so if you guys are just looking for a video that doesn't say the same thing over and over again, then this is the video for you. This video has been specifically made for the people who have consoles, but you can use a lot of these tips on computer as well. Now, without any further ado, guys, we're gonna get right into the video. Okay, everyone, so for our first tip, we have a tip that will get you more materials a lot quicker than farming trees. Basically, all you need to do is while you're looting a house, you just have to break all the wooden furniture that's in the house while you're looting. This adds almost zero seconds to your looting time, guys, and also it gives you more materials. By doing this, each house can actually give you up to like 100 or even more materials. This is a great way to get materials early game and just throughout the entire game. If you land retail or pleasant or if you just land tilted or anything like that, guys, you can just break the furniture that's in any of the houses and you'll get so much material. Not only that, but also while you're playing, it makes you look like such a better player. If your friends are watching you and they see you doing this, it'll actually make them think you're a better player. So yeah, guys, this tip actually really helps you get more materials. My next tip that I'm going to share with you guys, you guys probably already know. Basically, all you have to do is just always make sure that you're jumping no matter where you are in the map. And even whenever you're just running around or you're standing still, you need to be jumping at least so that no one can line up a shot on you. Believe it or not, this actually helps you like a lot as a player. It helps other players know that you know what you're doing and it also helps you like not get killed. So yeah, guys, just always stay jumping. For tip number three, we have looking around for other players. Now, while playing the game of Fortnite, you guys might have gotten snuck up on from behind or the side or something like that, but guys, there is a simple solution to all of that. All you need to do is just be looking around at all times. Every few seconds to a 360, you know, look around behind you, see if anyone's following you. There are so many times that people have been following me or following my squad and have just gotten us from behind and we would have no idea, but this doesn't happen anymore to me because of the fact that I'm always turning around and looking for other players. Also, this can help you get kills because if you're looking around and you spot a guy in the distance, you can go up to him and get the jump on him instead of him doing that to you. This is a crucial part to getting that victory royale, guys, so make sure that you're doing this. For tip number four, guys, we have sensitivity. Having a high sensitivity can improve your building skills by helping you build faster than your opponent. As you guys know, building is one of the key points in Fortnite, and that's what makes it different than other battle royales, and I think that to truly master Fortnite, you truly have to master what it's mainly about. Also, if you have a low sensitivity and there's a guy shooting at you from behind you, it does take a while to turn around, so I prefer having your sensitivity up at 7, 8, or 9. Whatever you guys do, don't go 10 or else there is some major bugs with your building and that would be really hard to hit shotgun shots with. Currently my sensitivity sits at 9, but I used to use 7 and 8 and those were completely fine. But I used to be an average Fortnite player and I think what really set me above average of a Fortnite player was whenever I turned my sensitivity up from 6 to 7. It improved my shotgun skills so much guys, whenever I did that I got so much better at shotgun fights. Of course, it will take some getting used to whenever you first change your sensitivity, but you guys will definitely get used to it, as I did. So for tip number five, I will be explaining what to do whenever a person with the lower ground is rushing you up to your higher ground. Gameplay will be showing on the screen of what like, I'm talking about, so just make sure to be looking at the game. So as this guy is rushing up to me, I'm trying to shoot out the ramps from under him, but if he was to keep rushing up to me and he built uh, walls in front of his ramp so I couldn't break it down, then I would have to build up in the case that he started shooting at me. So basically, if he builds up to me and starts shooting back at me, what I need to do is build up. But while he's building up to me, I need to be shooting out the ramps from under him so that he falls to the ground. Now, if we were in his situation, I actually have a way to counter this from his side. So if you want to check that out, then I mean, that'll be later in the video. For our sixth tip, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of a box. Now, I know that sounds weird, but you guys will know what I mean if you're watching the gameplay on the screen. Basically, whenever an another player has you trapped in a box, what you need to do is be replacing the walls that the guy is breaking with his gun. And you keep doing that until he has to reload, because eventually he will have to reload. And once he reloads, you have to build stairs, edit the ceiling, and then jump out and get him from behind, and he won't even know that you're coming. On the screen, guys, right now, it's about to show me doing this, so basically all you... 
need to do is just do what I'm doing on the screen here and you'll kill them like pr practically every time. You can notice that my health is extremely low and he has a lot of health, so I mean, it, it shows how well that this technique works. For tip number seven guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can gain the high ground on your opponent whenever he was directly above you. Now this goes for pushing other people's bases or this just goes for if you're in a build fight with a guy and you are on the bottom, you can go up and you can get the high ground very, very easy with this tip. So there's gameplay going on right now showing me doing this on this guy and I kind of messed it up a little bit. Um, this was like my first game on and I was, I was not the best, but anyway, you can see me building up and getting the high ground super easy and that guy panicked and he didn't know what to do because I was above him. If you couldn't understand what was going on, basically I was just building ramps under and above me and going straight up until I was above him. Then I built walls on my back so he couldn't shoot me from the back. And then I could see him obviously and I was above him. Then I just edited a window because I wanted to see him and get the right hand peek on him. I'm sorry that was hard to explain, but you guys get the idea. Now guys, for tip number 8, we have something that is crucial for you Xbox players. Now, I actually had zero idea that this was a thing until like just now while researching other like tips and everything. But turns out Epic actually added in a new setting for your controller that can allow you to build as fast as PC players. Literally everyone is going to be using this Builder Pro setting, so if you guys want to be on their level or above them, you guys are going to have to do the same. I don't use this yet guys, but I know that it's going to be really hard to get used to. I wish I would've known sooner, I would've gotten on it, but since I know now, I'll definitely hop on Fortnite right after making this video, and I'm gonna get used to it. This will make you such a better player, guys, because as I said before, you have to be good at building, and this will make you good at building. You're probably gonna play a few games, and you guys are gonna suck, but you guys, it'll, it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys happen to enjoy today's video, could you please leave a like down below? It helps me grow the channel, helps me grow the brand. It would be highly appreciated by me if you could do that. Also, please comment down below what I'm doing wrong, and yeah, that's it. I'll let this gameplay play out for a little bit longer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Jack it up.